In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to His Word, celebrating His mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing His triumph over death and living with Him in God. Let us pray. O oh God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray. Grant that by these Paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may attain festivities of unending splendor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. All time belongs to Him and all ages. To him be glory and power through every age, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, May Christ the Lord guard us and protect us. May the light of Christ rising in glory dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds.
Lumen Christi, Deo gratias. Lumen Christi, Deo gratias. Lumen Christi, Deo gratia.
sing choirs of angels, heaven exalt. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Trumpets resound, salvation is won. So worth in shining splendor, radiant in the brightness of your King. For Christ has conquered, glory fills you, darkness vanishes forever. Rejoice, O Mother Church, exalt in glory. The risen one shines upon you. Let this place resound with joy, echoing the mighty song of all God's people. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Let us praise the unseen God, the all-powerful Father, and His only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For Christ has ransomed us with His blood. Paid to the Father the price of Adam's sin. This is our Passover feast, when Christ the Lamb is slain. In His blood He consecrates the homes of all believers. This is the night when you saved our fathers, the people of Israel. You freed them from their slavery and led them dry shod through the sea. This is the night when Christians are washed clean of sin and freed from all defilement. We are then restored to grace and grow together in holiness. This is the night when Jesus Christ broke the chain of death and rose triumphant from the grave. Rejoice, you heavenly powers, sing chorus of angels, heaven exalt. Jesus Christ,
Father, how wonderful your care for us. How boundless your merciful love. Just to ransom a slave, you gave away your son. Oh, happy fault. Oh, happy fault. Oh, necessary sin of Adam, which gained for us a Redeemer. The power of this holy night dispels all evil, washes guilt away, restores lost innocence, bring mourners joy, night truly Heaven is wedded to earth, and then man is reconciled, reconciled with God. Rejoice, you heavenly powers, sing chorus of Therefore, Holy Father, in the joy of this night, receive our evening sacrifice of praise, your Church's solemn offering. Accept this Easter candle, may it dispel the darkness of this night may the morning star that never sets find this flame still burning christ the morning star who came back from the dead and shed his peaceful light on all humanity. Your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. of angels heaven exalt Jesus Christ our King is risen trumpets resound salvation is won Dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved His people and in these, the last days, has sent us His Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete 
this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. Please be seated. You may now put off the lights of your candles. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made and found it very good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made by the breath of his mouth all their host. He gathers the waters of the sea as in a flask. In cellars he confines the deep. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Our soul waits for the Lord who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created human nature and still more wonderfully redeemed it, grant us, we pray, 
to set our minds against the enticements of sin that we may merit to attain eternal joys. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called him Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hands on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, Supreme Father of the faithful, 
who increase the children of your promise by pouring out the grace of adoption throughout the whole world, and who through the Paschal mystery make your servant Abraham father of nations, as once you swore, grant, we pray, that your peoples may enter worthily into the grace to which you call them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward, and you lift up your staff and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The angel of God, who had been leading Israel's camp, now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch, just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw them into a panic. And he so clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head-on toward the sea, when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped, but the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in Him and in His servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for He is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot He has cast into the sea. The Word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. the Lord for he is gloriously triumphant horse and chariot he has cast into the sea my strength and my courage is the Lord and he has been my Savior he is my God I praise him the God of my father I extol him Let us sing to The Lord is a warrior, Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself with glory. The flood waters covered them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has shattered the enemy. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. You brought in the people you redeemed and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands establish, the Lord shall reign forever and ever. Let us sing to the Lord, He has covered Himself in glory. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the New Testament have unlocked the meaning of wonders worked in former times, so that the Red Sea prefigures the sacred font, and the nation delivered from slavery foreshadows the Christian people, grant, we pray, that all nations obtaining the privilege of Israel by merit of faith may be reborn by partaking of your Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The one who has become your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit, a wife married in youth and then cast off, says your God. For a brief moment, I abandon you, but with great tenderness, I will take you back. In an outburst of wrath, for a moment, I hid my face from you. But when enduring love, I take pity on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah 
should never again deluge the earth. So I have sworn not to be angry with you or to rebuke you. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord who has mercy on you. O afflicted one, storm-battered and unconsoled, I lay your pavements in carnelians and your foundations in sapphires. I will make your battlements of rubies, your gates of carbuckles, and all your walls of precious stones. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. In justice shall you be established, far from the fear of oppression, where destruction cannot come near you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Praise to the Lord, you His faithful ones, and give thanks to His holy name. For His anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime His goodwill. A nightfall weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you. Rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you. rescued me. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, surpass for the honor of your name what you pledged to the patriarchs by reason of their faith and through sacred adoption, increase the children of your promise, so that the saints of old, never doubted, would come to pass, your church may now see in great part fulfilled. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, 
your wages for what fails to satisfy. Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David, as I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations. So shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy. To our God who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts about your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there, till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations, make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveiled the mysteries of this present age, graciously increase the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Hear, O Israel, the commandments of life. Listen and know prudence. How is it, Israel, that you are in the land of your foes, grown old in a foreign land, defiled with the dead, accounted with those destined for the netherworld? You have forsaken the fountain of wisdom. Had you walked in the way of God, you would have dwelt in enduring peace. Learn where prudence is, where strength, where understanding, that you may know also where are length of days, and life, where light of the eyes, and peace. Who has found the place of wisdom? Who has entered into her treasuries? The one who knows all things knows her. He has probed her by his knowledge. The one who established the earth for all time and filled it with four-footed beasts. He who dismisses the light and it departs, calls it, and it obeys him, trembling, before whom the stars at their posts shine and rejoice. When he calls them, they answer, Here we are, shining with joy for their Maker. Such is our God, no other is to be compared to him. He has traced out the whole way of understanding and has given her to Jacob, his servant, to Israel, his beloved. Since then, she has appeared on earth and moved among people. She is the book of the precepts of God, the law that endures forever. All who cling to her will live but those will die who forsake her. Turn, O Jacob, and receive her. Walk by her light toward splendor. Give not your glory to another, your privileges to an alien race. Blessed are we, O Israel, for what pleases God is known to us. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear enlightening the eye. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Please stand.
Let us pray. O God, who constantly increase your church by your call to the nations, graciously grant to those who wash clean in the waters of baptism the assurance of your unfailing protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel live in their land, they defiled it by their conduct and deeds. Therefore, I poured out my fury upon them because of the blood that they poured out on the ground and because they defiled it with idols. I scattered them among the nations, dispersing them over foreign lands. According to their conduct and deeds, I judged them. But when they came among the nations, wherever they came, they served to profane my holy name, because it was said of them, These are the people of the Lord, yet they had to leave their land. So I have relented because of my holy name, which the house of Israel profaned among the nations where they came. Therefore, say to those of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Not for your sakes do I act, house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy name, which you profaned among the nations to which you came. I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations, in whose meads you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back. To your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and a place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Like a deer that longs for running streams, my soul longs for you, my God. Like a deer that longs for running streams, my soul longs for you, my God. Thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Like a deer that longs for running streams, my soul longs for you, my God. I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God amid loud cries of joy and thanksgiving with the multitude keeping festival. Like a deer that longs for running streams, 
my soul longs for you, my God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Like a deer that longs for running streams, my soul longs for you, my God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the heart, O God, my God. Like a deer that longs for running streams, my soul longs for you, my God. Please stand. Let us pray. O God of unchanging power and eternal light, look with favor on the wondrous mystery of the whole church and serenely accomplish the work of human salvation which you planned from all eternity. May the whole world know and see that what was cast down is raised up. What had become old is made new and all things are restored in integrity through Christ, just as by Him they came into being, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
Jesucristo, ang Panginoon, kasama ng Espiritu Santo sa kadakilaan ng Diyos ama. Amen! Ng Diyos ama. Let us pray. O God, who made this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that renewed in body and mind, we may render you undivided service to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death we were indeed buried with him through baptism into death so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father we too might live in newness of life for we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might not be done away with, that we might no longer be in the slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over Him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as being dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Most Reverend Father, I bring you a message of great joy, the message of Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Yeah. 
give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early, when the sun had risen on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, Who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. Please be seated. 
ngayong gabi po ang pinakamahalagang gabi ng ating kaligtasan. Gabi, kasi dapat sa gabi ginagawa itong Easter Vigil celebration natin. Nag-a-adjust lang tayo dahil sa curfew. Ito yung isang gabi na tumawid ang anghel ng kamatayan sa mga bahay ng mga Israelita noong panahon ni Moises. Ligtas ang mga Israelita samantalang sa bawat bahay ng mga Egyptiano ang mga panganay na anak ay namatay. Ito yung gabi na ang mga Israelita ay tumawid sa Red Sea na hindi nababasa. Pero ang mga Egyptiano ay nahumahabol sa kanila ay nalunod sa dagat. Tumawid sila patungo sa kalayaan. Ito yung gabi na ang, mga, na ang Panginoong Yesus ay tumawid patungo sa muling pagkabuhay. Ang gabi ng kadiliman, ang kadiliman ng kasalanan at kamatayan ay napagtagumpayanan ng liwanag. Darkness fled in front of light. Death is overcome by life. Evil is banished by love. This is what we celebrate tonight. This is an Easter Vigil. It is a Vigil, isang magdamagang gawain. Hindi na ito ginagawa nating magdamag ngayon, pero mahaba-haba pa rin ang pagdiriwang natin. Mahaba kasi may apat na bahagi ang ating celebration. Nagkaroon tayo ng pagdiriwang ng liwanag kung paano tinalo ng liwanag ang kadiliman. Nasa pagdiriwang tayo ngayon ng salita ng Diyos. Sa siyam na mga pagbasa, tinaluntun natin ang kasaysayan ng kaligtasan. Susunod ang pagbibindisyon ng tubig para sa binyag at ang pagsasariwa natin ng ating pangako sa binyag. Dati, ito yung takdang panahon para sa pagbibinyag dahil sa pandemya at dahil sa ating 500 years of Christianity celebration, gagawin natin ang mga binyagan sa April 18, ang ikatlong linggo ng pagkabuhay, ang malapit na Sunday sa April 14, na siyang anniversary ng unang binyag na ginawa sa Cebu noong 1521. Ang pang-apat na bahagi ng ating pagdiriwang ngayong gabi ay ang Banal na Eukaristiya. Ang bawat misa ay ang pagsasa ngayon natin, make present ng pagkamatay at pagkabuhay ni Jesus. Patuloy na inaalay ni Jesus ang kanyang sarili upang tayo ay mabuhay. Oo, may apat na bahagi ang ating gawain ngayong gabi. Pero talagang naging mahaba ang ating celebration dahil sa mga pagbasa natin. Ginagawa natin ang ating vigil sa ating pagsubaybay sa kasaysayan ng kaligtasan, the history of salvation. Hindi basta-basta dumating ang kaligtasan, hindi ito instant. Ang kasaysayan ay isang proseso at bahagi tayo ng prosesong ito. Kaya ang daloy ng kaligtasan ay daloy ng kasaysayan natin ngayon. This is our story. What we have heard in our readings are not stories of others. We have heard our own story as a people of God. Nagsimula ang kasaysayan ng kaligtasan sa pagpaalaala sa atin 
ng magandang balak ng Diyos sa atin at sa mundo. So we have heard the creation story. Everything was good and beautiful coming from a good and loving God. Because of sin, however, the good world and the good relationships have been broken. Pero kaagad, nagbalak ang Diyos na ayusin at panibaguhin uli ang lahat. Magpapadala siya ng tagapagligtas na tatalunin ang kasamaan at kamatayan na dala ng kasalanan. Nagsimula ang Diyos sa isang tao kay Abraham, isang tao na masunurin at may tiwala sa kanya. Ganun na lang ang kanyang tiwala sa Diyos na handa niyang ialay ang pinakamahalaga sa kanya, ang kanyang kaisa-isang anak na si Isaak, kung ito ay hihingin sa kanya ng Diyos. Lumaki ang pamilya ni Abraham ayon sa pangako ng Diyos. Talagang tapat ang Diyos sa kanyang mga sinasabi. Upang iligtas ang pamilya ni Abraham, sila ay napapunta sa Egypto dahil kay Jose na naging prinsipe ng Egypto. Doon dumami sila. Doon sila din ay inalipin. Doon, sila, doon nila naranasan na ang Diyos nila ay manliligtas. Sa pamamagitan ni Moises, sila ay nakalikas sa pagkaalipin sa kanila sa Egypto sa maraming kababalaghan. Ngayon ay hindi na sila isang pamilya lamang. Sila isang bayan na na nakatipan sa Diyos. They have become a people with a covenantal relationship with their God when they left Egypt and came to Mount Sinai. Dinala sila ng Diyos sa lupang ipinangako sa kanila. Winarningan sila na kung mananatili silang tapat sa kasunduan nila sa Diyos, kung susunod sila sa kanyang mga utos, mananatili sila sa lupaing iyon na masaya at masagana. Kung hindi, tatalunin sila ng ibang mga tao at aalisin sila sa lupain. Sa mahabang kasaysayan na sila'y pinamunuan ng mga hukom at mga hari, hindi sila sumunod. Kahit na paulit-ulit na silang pinadalhan ng mga propeta na nagpapaalaala sa kanila ng kanilang kasunduan sa Diyos. Ang Diyos po ay hindi pabaya. True enough, They lost the land. They were reduced as a people. First, they were divided into two kingdoms. Then, they lost their independence as a people. Their kings were killed or captured, and they were exiled to faraway places. Noong nawala na ang lahat, napatanong sila, kung nakalimutan na ba sila ng kanilang Diyos. Sinabi ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ni Propeta Isaias, For a brief moment, I abandoned you, but with great tenderness, I will take you back. In justice, you shall be established, far from the fear of oppression, where destruction cannot come near you. Kaya nga, ang panawagan sa kanila ay, Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call Him while He is near. Let the wicked man turn from his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord of mercy. For our God is generous in forgiving. Kaya, kailangan lang talagang makinig sa Diyos at gawin ang kanyang mga utos. Ang kasaysayan ng Israel ay kasaysayan din natin. Maganda ang balak ng Diyos sa atin. Maganda ang Pilipinas. 
mapalad tayo na alam na natin ang kalooban ng Diyos. Tayo ay mga Kristiyano. Kaya talagang pinasasalamatan natin ng Diyos na pinagkalooban tayo ng pananampalataya. Hindi na natin kailangang hulaan pa kung ano ang kagustuhan niya. Kung ano ang paraan upang bindisyonan tayo. Sumunod na lang tayo. Kaya nagkaganito ang ating kalagayan dahil sa sumusuway tayo sa Diyos. Marami ang nagdurusa sa atin dahil sa bisyo, alak, sugal, droga, walang katapatan sa asawa, pagsuway sa mga magulang, pagkamakasarili, katamaran, lahat ng yan ay nagpapahirap sa atin. Lahat ng yan ay pagsuway sa mga utos ng Diyos. Ganon din ang pagsisinungaling, ganon din ang hindi paggalang sa karapatang pangtao, ganon din ang korupsyon na pagnanakaw sa kaban ng bayan, ganon din ang kasakiman sa pera na handang pumatay para lang kumita, handang sirain ang kalikasan dahil sa business. Ang mga ito ay laban sa mga utos ng Diyos. Ito yung nagpapasama sa ating kalagayan. Pero kahit na ganito tayo, nangako ang Diyos na babaguhin niya tayo. Bibigyan niya tayo ng bagong puso. Ibibigay niya sa atin ang bagong espiritu. Ito ay tinupad niya noong ibinigay niya sa atin ang kanyang anak na naging tao. We do not deserve Jesus. But He not only came, He died for us para lang mabago tayo. Totoong nabago tayo noong tayo'y bininyagan. Hindi lang tinanggal ang ating kasalanan, ginawa pa tayo na mga anak ng Diyos. So we now participate in the life of God. This is totally unexpected as His resurrection from the dead was unexpected. Sinorpresa tayo ng Diyos. Nakakagulat ang Kanyang kapangyarihan. Walang imposible sa Kanya. May buhay pala sa kabila ng kamatayan. We truly need this message now. Tayo na nawawala na ng pag-asa sa harap ng pandemya. Maluha ang virus na palaging nagbabago, nagmimutate. Pero ang tugon ng mga leaders natin ay pareho pa rin. Lockdown at curfew. And they expect things to get better by mandating the same measures that brought us to this sad story, first of all. Pero kahit na nasa ganito tayong kalagayan, huwag tayong mawala ng pag-asa. Kumikilos ang Diyos. He will not allow sickness and stupidity to have the last say. Our story leads to salvation. This is salvation history. Dahil sa kumikilos ang Diyos, kumilos din tayo tulad ng mga babae sa ating ibanghelyo. Maagang maaga pa, pumunta na sila sa libingan. Dahil sa kumilos sila, silang unang nakatanggap ng magandang balita. At sila pa ang pinagkatiwalaan na dalhin ang magandang balita ito sa kanya mga alagad. Paano tayo kikilos? Magkaisa, magtulungan, mag-encourage sa nawawalan ng pag-asa, magbigay ng comfort sa mga nalulumbay o naulila. In a word, Let us support one another. Help from God will come. Meanwhile, let us help one another. Dahil sa si Jesus ay muling nabuhay, nagkaroon ng movement, nabuksan ang libingan, kumilo sa mga babae, napatakbo ang mga apostol, nabalitaan ang mga 
ang mga tao. Pumunta ang mga alagad sa buong mundo at nagpahayag. We need to move. Jesus is risen. Let us allow the energy of the resurrection to move us on. Ang ating Panginoon ay hindi na iwang nakapako sa krus. Siya ay muling nabuhay. Ang mahal na araw ay hindi lang Biyernes Santo. Kasama ang linggo ng pagkabuhay. Let us move because Jesus our Lord is alive. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water He has created, which will be sprinkled upon us as a memorial of our baptism. May He graciously renew us that we may remain faithful to the Spirit whom we have received. Lord our God, in your mercy, be present to your people who keep vigil on this most sacred night. And for us who recall the wondrous work of our creation and still greater work of our redemption, graciously bless this water. You have created, the, you created water to make the fields fruitful and to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy, for through water you freed your people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water, the prophets proclaimed the new covenant you were to enter upon with the human race. And last of all, through water, which Christ made holy in the Jordan, you have renewed our corrupted nature in the bath of regeneration. Therefore, may this water be for us a memorial of the baptism we have received and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who at Easter have received their baptism through Christ our Lord. Amen. The renewal of our baptismal promises. Do you renounce sin as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. 
Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, bestow on us forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. The light of the risen Christ shines forth from the Easter candle. May the flame of faith in our hearts inspire us as we offer prayers for the needs of all our brothers and sisters. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the universal church that with our Pope and bishops, we may proclaim the saving event of Easter. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the nations of this world, that the kingdom of the risen Lord may spread through all societies and cultures, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have been baptized at this time, that, freed from slavery of sin, they will live in the new life of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this worshiping community, that we will share the joyous news of the resurrection with those we meet, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, that having died with Christ, they will return to life with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our pers personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, receive the prayers of your church, celebrating the glorious victory of your risen Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. You may now put up the lights of your candles. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. 
for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. sa kaitaasan O sana, O sana sa kaitaasan Tinagpala ang naparirito sa ngala ng Panginoon O sana, O sana sa kaitaasan O sana, O sana To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hold on to the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and praying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating this most sacred night, of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, 
Cosmas and Damian and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water in the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, for our salvation and for the salvation of all, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with his eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion and the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be born 
by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through the participation of the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through Christ our Lord. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us to beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 alleluia. Purin ang Diyos, purin ang Diyos, amen, alleluia. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. I will read to you my uh, Easter message. Happy Easter to all. Alleluia. Easter is Easter with pandemic or not. Easter is Easter with lockdowns or not. Easter is the assurance of victory. Any act of love and sacrifice for others will bring new life. We need this message in our time when so many acts of love, service to others, and prayers are being offered. We witness this among our medical frontliners who are tired, endangered, in danger, and not adequately compensated. We see this among family members who comfort and serve those of their families who are sick. We admire the daily wage earners who continue to work, putting themselves in daily risk to support their families. We are aware of prayers, requests, and promises of prayers in many social media accounts. We are all enveloped in prayers these days. All of these efforts and goodwill join in the victory of the resurrection. Jesus' new life shows us that God rewards all acts of love and sacrifice. God blesses all the good that is being done. So Easter is not only about Jesus. It is also about us. Jesus is the guarantee that a new and better day is coming. Let us not lose hope. We continue to strive because we know, with God's help, that we shall overcome. Praise God, who gives us victory over death, over sickness, over evil. This is the real meaning of Easter. Today, we open the 500th anniversary of the gift of the Christian faith to our country. We humbly accept this gift, and in gratitude, we generously share this faith to others. We are gifted to give. Together with the disciples, we enthusiastically share with others. We have seen the Lord. Happy Easter to one and all. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is offered. Go and be witnesses to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.
stand before the grand horizon. Five hundred years of faith, grateful today. We bear the gift of mission. Totally yours, we give ourselves faithfully yours until the end to your mission, Lord. The sun rises above the hills. Share the word and serve those who are in need. Let the morning star accompany your way. Spread the fire of mission for the Lord. We stand before the grand horizon. Five hundred years of faith, grateful today.